sometimes Mixed loves, how are you? So today I decided to make butter buns Some of you know them as my buns if you're Zimbabwean And I'm going to take you through all the steps So right there I was just mixing my butter and my milk And I was melting it using the steam from the kettle Because I found it to be very easy to do So I'm going to put 2 teaspoons of dry active yeast in a bowl and then I'm going to dissolve my yeast with the melted butter and the milk mixture so I'll make sure that the yeast is dissolved in a way that I won't be able to see it because I'm using dry yeast so I'll stir and stir and stir until I cannot see the yeast anymore after that I'm going to crack my egg I'll use one egg and then I'll whisk the egg not too much just a bit then I'll add my flour so you'll sieve your flour and then add sugar and salt after this I'll keep mixing the mixture and gradually adding my flour to make that consistency that I'll be able to knead so I'll keep adding more flour and start preparing myself to knead the dough as you can see there's definitely a lot of mixing and mixing and mixing and adding more flour yeah so we keep mixing and mixing and mixing yeah we're still mixing so I'm going to add flour on the pot that I'm going to use to knead the dough and I will gently place the dough on the board then after that I'll start kneading the dough with my fingers I'll mix 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 and knead 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 and add more flour until I get the consistency that I need then after that I'm going to add butter to the dough since we're making butter buns we are definitely going to need a generous amount of butter so I'm going to add my butter to the dough and then I'll make sure I incorporate the butter into the dough and keep kneading as you can see I'm still going to add more butter to the buns because it's going to give them that soft and fluffy texture and it's also going to give them that buttery taste so after kneading for like 10 minutes I had to cover my dough to let it rise but I did not have any cling film so I used uh, a dish towel and then later on thought of putting a plastic bag and then the dish towel on top so the best is to use a cling film yeah that's me punching the dough because you want to make sure all the air comes out then I'll take it out of the bowl and start kneading it again for like a generous 10 minutes. And I think I was just now enjoying adding butter because I really put a lot of butter in those buns. So I added more butter and started kneading and kneading and kneading the dough. Then I put some oil and left it again to rise. I gave it like an hour to rise as you can see the dough really you know rose <laughs> if that exists but yeah then I started kneading the dough again so after that I started kneading and kneading and kneading and then I'm going to cut my dough into pieces so I wanted these buns to be a bit bigger but with this recipe you can definitely make more than I made so i made nine buns but this recipe allows you to make up to 16 buns so i started cutting my my buns my dough actually into pieces yeah so i started kneading those pieces again kneading and kneading and kneading them i don't have a scale so i'm going to place the grains that you're probably going to use a bun so with this recipe you're going to need 
till you get tired and till your hands are painful I figured that this helps the buns to be very fluffy so I kept doing it So I'm going to allow them to rest and rise in the baking pan before I put them in the oven as I'm preheating the oven 280 degrees for like 10 minutes before you put them in the oven. The heat you're going to bake them in will depend really with the oven. My oven is really hot so I baked them at 130 degrees and allowed them to cook for now till I so I'm just going to brush them with egg and milk mixture that I made and I'll brush them before I place them in the oven to This was me being very impatient before I glazed them with the sugar syrup that I made just to make them a little bit sweet on the top. So yeah, our buns are ready and oh, guys I can't emphasize how sweet these buns were. They were so nice, so soft. I definitely enjoyed my breakfast on this day. So thank you guys for listening and if you do use this recipe please do give me a feedback